three SEO A-B tests you need to try to boost your organic traffic. Many people could argue that SEO was born with the first website published in 1991. But the history of official SEO started around 1997 when a rock band manager was upset to see their website search engine ranking. According to the book Digital Engagement by Bob Heyman, famous rock band Jefferson Starship was disappointed when they found their official website was sitting on page 4 of some search engines at the time instead of spot 1 on page 1. They didn't know why and tried to find out ways to improve their search engine positioning, which eventually gave birth to a completely new industry that we call SEO today. Though it's been more than 20 years from the initiation, SEO is still guesswork to most of the people because of the continuously updating search engine algorithm. So how could you take the guesswork out of SEO and get data driven to improve your SERP ranking? The answer is easy, split testing. SEO split testing is a comparatively new concept in the SEO sector. However, all the big websites with millions of traffic have started embracing it. A few months back, Pinterest disclosed two of their SEO split testing results publicly. In one test, they ran an experiment with the quality of text description of pinned images. The results showed that improving the quality of text description drew more traffic than expected. So Pinterest focused on improving the quality of text description, which increased their organic traffic around 30% than before. Another test was related to user experience. Pinterest wanted to render content client-side in JavaScript on a selected number of pages to improve their user experience. As soon as they did it, the selected pages were losing their rank rapidly, so they had to cancel the test. These two events should give you some idea why SEO split testing is important for any website. Let's see three easy SEO split tests you can run on your website to improve organic traffic. Test the title tag. You should split test several versions of your title tag and see how each one is changing your ranking position or affecting your traffic. A good title tag could tremendously improve your click-through rate, so you need to find out the winner title tag via SEO split testing. A developer community website, CoderWall, grew 57% organic traffic just by split testing their title tag. Find out the appropriate schema markup. If you have a web page, a search engine is simply going to index it. If you use a schema markup on that web page, it will tell the search engine how to index it. According to schema.org, this is how it works. HTML tags tell the browser how to display the information included in the tag. For example, h1 avatar slash h1 tells the browser to display the text string avatar in a heading 1 format. However, the HTML tag doesn't give any information about what the text string means. Avatar could refer to the hugely successful 3D movie, or it could refer to a type of profile picture. And this can make it more difficult for search engines to intelligently display relevant content to a user. So finding out the right schema markup to use with your content could give you a big boost in traffic. Argue with data. You need to test different types of data sets to identify potential areas to work in. For example, you may or may not get rank for using short and simple keywords. Now you should find out whether you do better with long keywords or timely keywords containing the year. You could also split test with canonical or non-indexed pages to check their performance. Remember, you need to wait at least three to four weeks to measure the result of your SEO split testing. Any time frame less than that could result in the false interpretation of data. However, if you see any sharp drop in the ranking or traffic in any of your split testing, cancel the test immediately.